Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start the class on um, back to school. And it has a lot of um, tips that you can use for a classroom, for students, for all, all the above. And um, I think I'll just move this. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to also ask is if you have concerns or things that you face each year or your child face each, faces each year, um, you can always comment below. And if I didn't address it, then I'll go back and I'll answer the questions that I see. So um, if there are fears or if there is an area of concern that you're not sure of, type that and then I'll go back and I'll answer what you can use for the school year or for that student. Okay, so just to verify and go over real quick to make sure that everybody knows what essential oils are. They are the chemical compound implants that help the plants to heal. And they work the same way for us that they do for the plants. They are 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. So a lot of people are aware that herbs help, but this is more powerful than that. Our body responds better to it. Um, it doesn't have any side effects. It's been used for hundreds of years, thousands of years. And so um, it works a lot quicker with our body because it goes straight to the cells that are unhealthy and helps it to heal. It actually penetrates the cell wall. And so it helps from the cellular level to heal all the way up. And it's very concentrated. So it's, if you have the right brand, it'll be pure, it's more potent, and the efficiency of it is gonna be a lot different. And just to demonstrate that concentration, one drop of peppermint oil is like 28 cups of peppermint tea. So that's how much you get. So usually we just use one or two drops, is mostly all it takes. Um, not all oils are equal, as I had said. Move this over here. Okay, so the problem with that is there's no industry standard. There's no standard that they make that all oils have to have. And when that window opens, there's a lot of oils out there that will go through brokers, which means it can be cut down with anything. You don't really know the composition. A lot of times that leaves synthetic oils or cheap fillers. And with the fillers or the synthetics, it leaves a lot of people can have reactions, it's unsafe. Um, it can be toxic and hormone disrupting and endocrine system disrupting. So a lot of issues can come with that. Um, the Terra created a standard which they put on all their bottles that it's certified pure therapeutic grade and it has become the leader in essential oils. Um, I make sure that I say that because I have had family that heard me speak of oils before and after that, they went and purchased oils that were not from doTERRA and had a nasty, horrible side effect. So once I learned of that, I wanted to make sure that I make everyone aware because I don't want to be responsible for somebody having those nasty effects. So let's see. doTERRA, as I said, they came up with the solution and theirs is the certified pure therapeutic grade. There are different grades out there. You can get them to cook with and they'll be fine to use. They won't be making you sick, but they're not gonna be a therapeutic quality. So you wouldn't be able to use it for your head or for your immunity and stuff like that. So that's the difference with the quality. Um, the brand Web doTERRA, they're the most trusted in the medical community because they are the most tested. Um, most oil companies have two tests. doTERRA developed eight to make sure that they can't be passed. Some, some oils were being able to pass those two and they were still having synthetics. So they developed eight that cannot be passed, synthetics or anything like that. So they make sure that they test the composition, the quality, and that you get the same consistent, safe and effective oils. And they're tested by third party testers as well. And if you want to look up that info, it's at source to you uh, Also, source responsibly so they source where it grows indigenous they test for where it's the higher therapeutic grade around the world and wherever it's the highest therapeutic that is where they decide to collect it for their oils so they work directly with the farmers they make sure that they get paid fairly and um, 
they do two, two things. They do co-impact sourcing. So they give back to the area that is given to the rest of the world. And they help that community with schools, clinics, that kind of stuff. So that's a little bit about doTERRA and why I share those oils. Um, and here's where it shows a different kind, like there's synthetic, there's food, there's therapeutic, and then there's a certified pure therapeutic grade of doTERRA. And that's talking about the tests that I already kind of just told you about. Um, how to use them? So you can use them three ways, aromatically, topically, or internally. And how fast do they work? In 22 seconds, um, it'll go to your brain, and in two minutes, it'll touch every cell in your body. Um, in two minutes, it'll go through the bloodstream. And then in 20 minutes, it'll go through every cell that's in your body. So yes, you can take them internally. Not all brands, but if you're using doTERRA, you can. You can put it in a capsule. You can put it under your tongue. You can drink it in water. You know, different things like that. Topical would just be, you know, wherever you're feeling pain or area that needs help. And aromatically, you can put it in diffuser. You could put it on your wrist and smell it. Um, anything like that would be, um, you know, aromatically. So now to the school part, <laughs> now that we hit the basics. Um, these are just some key oils, and I'm going to go further into them, but I just wanted to put a little billboard of some of the top ones. Um, I have, and so do my kids, we all carry keychains. And so, yeah, here's a keychain. And you can just um, carry it around. I'll show you real quick. Okay, so we just open it up and we have like, whoops, this one has not been used yet. So it has like eight different little carrot, little bitty oils, uh, little bitty bottles. And you can put whatever which oils you choose. So our kids carry them at school. Um, some kids that had tummy issues all the time, they, you know, each kid can make their own based on what they need. So if there's someone that have headaches all the time, they can carry one for that. They can mix and match and choose, and um, that way they're prepared during the rest of the school year. So let's see. Let's go back to where should I screen? There we go. Okay, so these are those. Um, I'm just on guard is for your immunity. Um, it can boost your immune system and prevent you from illnesses throughout the year. Now my daughter just came home and we're only in the first week of school and she said something's going around. So my first question was, did you put on guard this morning? So um, I would suggest putting on guard on the bottoms of their feet. If you can't remember morning and night, at least night. Sometimes it's hard going out the door. That's why I say nighttime is easier. And it's easy just to put it on their nightstand. It's easy to get the roller bottle. It's just a lot easier to have them keep the roller, open it up, roll it on the bottom of their foot, and they're done rather than like the big bottle. But either one works. Um, and then, you know, you could diffuse it in your home around the cold season, and whatever they've been exposed to during the day, it'll boost their immune system so they can fight it and not get it. So the bottle is handy for that as well. Wild orange, um, you just have to remember that this is a stressful time for kids. So um, it uplifts them. It's also cleansing and you can drink it. It's good for your gut. It's good in treats and smoothies and stuff like that. Lavender is very relaxing. It also does help the skin for any kind of irritation, any kind of like blemishes, things like that, bug bites, all that kind of stuff. Burns, whether it's sunburn or like a serious burn. I've had some friends that have babies that have been scalded by boiling water or fell into a fire and within the end of the week, it was perfectly new skin, no scarring or anything. So good for burns. And it also is one of the three oils that you use for allergies and stuff. Uh, serenity. So a lot of times when kids go back to school, they're not on the set routine. Um, and even throughout the year when they get stressed, they might have trouble going to sleep. So you can diffuse this, you know, at night or even before they're actually going to bed and help them calm down and get a good night sleep. Uh, Melaleuca. It's good for first aid, for skin things, for eczema, ear infections. It's really good. You put it in a neti pot and just flush your sinuses and stuff like that. It also prevents the ear infections. And then it's good to use for lice repellent <laughs> for those younger kids that are always getting that around. Um, in tune, we're going to go more into that as well. But that is for restoring focus throughout the day, um, increase the ability to have alertness and clarity. 
And it's a blend of some very powerful oils that really work well with the brain. And on the bottom corner, I put digestion because like I said, a lot of nervousness or just tummy issues. Um, my friend was checking out her kids regularly and she was like, I always make sure they carry the digestion because then she just told them to use that and they wouldn't have to go home within a few minutes. The tummy thing would be resolved and they stayed at school. So, all right, let's see. So the big picture, right? Um, we want to not forget vitamins because if you look at some studies and stuff like that, one for brain function, two for your immunity and everything, our diet and our foods in the world um, just do not have enough nutrients that they used to have once upon a time. It's so lacking. So they do need a supplement to boost the body and brain function. Okay. And if you um, aren't really familiar, um, a couple of doctors, when our kids had trouble concentrating, stuff like that, they actually prescribed, and it wasn't um, a medicine, but it is a supplement that is just strictly vitamin D and omega. And so um, it'll say krill and it'll say vitamin D. And many kids that have trouble focusing or trouble with depression, they are shown to have um, a low level of vitamin D and omega. Omega oil is good for the brain function. Your brain's mostly fat and you know, that oil. So these are some boosting immunity regular favorites that we use in our house. Um, the top two are the A to Z chewable vitamin, the IQ Omega. Um, so it is a liquid. It does not taste like fish. <laughs> so kids do like it. They put wild orange in it. So it actually just has a faint orange taste. Um, but it does have the consistency of the oil. Um, however, my 23-year-old, he steals our Omega and he likes that form better. So um, just to show, kids will definitely like it. Um, the DDR Prime blend we use regularly. Um, you can put it in a capsule or you can rub it on the bottom of their feet, but that's to keep your cells healthy functioning. Uh, the Terrazyme is a digestive enzyme. You take one with every meal because for those that don't know about the gut, let me just tell you, you have more neuroreceptors in your gut than in your brain. The 90% of the neuroreceptors that your body has is in its gut. So if your gut is clogged and slow and you got toxins in it, right? Um, and every time you eat, you're adding on top of that, your concentration levels are gonna be slower, your um, recall and memory is gonna be slower and other things like that. So we really want to boost them for learning and stuff. You wanna have them break down the food that they're eating. Um, the Mito to Max, oh, and for the A to Z and the IQ Omega, if they are older and they can take pills and there's like the regular vitamin pack. So it would have um, the, vito, the, the food nutrient complex and alpha CRS that would replace those. Um, Mito to Max, it says for energy and stamina, but the key about that is um, brain function. It, it also needs some stamina and stuff like that, but it's not really about the energy. It's about the, um, it curbs and it monitors and balances the body's response to stress. It also helps people to get a better night's sleep. So more for the older kids that have a lot going on in high school and stuff like that, um, it would help with that. And then it just helps them so in the afternoon, after lunch, they don't have that crash, you know, from whatever they ate and they're just tired. It kind of gives them a steady level of energy. Um, no jitteriness or anything like that. You really won't even know that you've taken it other than you don't get that lull of tiredness. So I talked about On Guard and then PB Assist Junior or the PB Assist um, for the older kids. So a probiotic is very important. Uh, most probiotics on the market will not actually make it to your gut. So doctors and research um, put these together and they actually do make it to your gut. It's very different from anything on the market. I have a lot of friends that were on probiotics for years and when they took this or their child took it, um, big differences. Um, one friend here, actually her daughter was having serious trouble. Um, they were going to hospitalize her a couple times and they could never figure it out. She put her on a steady regimen of the Terrazyme and PB Assist, and we don't know, but every, everything has cleared up over the past four months. So the doctors are like, stay on it, 
because, um, you know, she just had lots of issues, but she's a big promoter of the PB Assist. So those are some things about overall health that we just want to touch on and remember. Um, so for the bigs and the littles, no matter what age your kids are, um, a daily routine is going to be important and prevention is key. So we want to practice proactive health and not just waiting until we get to that cold season. So we start in August and we go ahead and, you know, give them the on guard every night and try to do the things like the nutrition and all to carry them throughout the rest of the year. So here's some little breakdowns of what you would use for the preschoolers and elementary school ages. And then the bottom one would be like your preteens, you know, once they can start swallowing pills and, you know, stuff like that. So I talked about the vitamins. They both have digestin, the terzyme. Um, the terzyme capsule for the ones that are the littles, um, it only comes in a pill form. But a lot of people just break it open and put it in either a teaspoon of honey or some applesauce or stuff like that, and kids will just eat it. It's fine. Um, and then there's the on guard throat drops too. You can use that for you know boosting your immunity as well. Um, for older kids, especially sports kids, you might want to also consider the Deep Blue. It's a polyphenol complex. And so it helps with aches and all that kind of stuff. And they can take one in the morning or they can take it at night. They can do both if they really have some more serious stuff going on um, where they're just, you know, maybe in football or things like that where they're really getting beat up. Um, and then the external part, you want to remember the on guard hand wash. It's going to be non-toxic. It's going to have no toxins, but it's also going to be boosting their immune system. A lot of schools are putting that in their school. The toothpaste as well. Any replace your bath bar or your body wash, um, stuff like that. Because one thing, and your shampoo, your conditioner, lotions, one thing you want to think about is when they're in that shower, their scalp and their pores are open. And it does absorb toxins that are in those kind of things. So not everybody responds the same way, but there are several kids that it affects their health and it affects affects them in um, several ways with functioning. So allergies is one, but joints and stuff like that can be another. Um, so detergent is another thing as well. So you want to think of those. And for the older kids, HD Clear face wash or the Virage skincare, because those kids, and the deodorant, those kids need that, need the deodorant where the little kids don't really yet. But um, they want to start taking care of their skin and stuff. So I wanted to stick that in there as well. Um, and for physical support as well, um, like I said, the digestion, the tummy support, um, the on guard. You can also, if you see that they're having some trouble where they're starting to feel something come on, you can put a veggie cap with oregano, melaleuca, and on guard and kind of boost their system a little bit more if you want. Um, if they're having some issues with breathing or asthma, the breathe can help with that. It replaces a lot of um, inhalers and stuff. There's the brief stick, uh, there's the drops, and there's the roll on. And um, yeah, the DDR prime and the on guard. So I'm just going to stop right here for a minute because I want to make sure um, this is a question I get often. So people often don't know the difference between the on guard oil, the on guard roll on, the on guard beadlet, and the on guard soft gel. So I'm just going to explain it really quick. The On Guard um, oil is just the blend that helps with your immunity. So you can drop it under your tongue. You can put it in some warm water and drink it like a tea. You can put it in a veggie cap. You can diffuse it. All of those will help with your immunity. Okay. The On Guard Roll-On, it is a touch, so it has fractionated coconut oil in it as well. So it helps it to stay longer um, and things like that. It's really, you know, good and easy to put on the bottom of their feet and stuff like that. So the fractionated coconut oil, don't think it's diluted. It's actually making it more powerful. So the coconut oil drives it deeper and makes it last longer. So when I go to casinos or I'm around an area that has a lot of smoke, um, I will rub this on my throat and it actually protects my throat and my like sinuses and from me getting any kind of infection, I'm allergic to smoke. So the, with it being in the roller versus the oil, it lasts throughout that time that I'm going to be there. It doesn't, you know, wear off quicker. So that's the difference between those two. 
Now, if you feel a little bit of something coming on, you can take one of the little beadlets and um, it, it gives you a little bit of a boost. And it's very small, it's not even a whole drop, so it's very tiny. But um, like my mother, she took one, she knew she had a sinus infection, she could feel it in her teeth and other symptoms that she gets, and it was a Sunday. She took it before she went to church, she felt better, she took it at lunch just to be sure, and she never felt the come back again. So it really is powerful enough. Now, if you don't feel something coming on, you know you have something, then you would switch to the On Guard soft gel. So it is bigger. It's about, I think it's five drops in the soft gel, okay? The other difference is this has Melissa added to it, which is another thing to boost your immune system. So it's not just the oil. It also has that in there. So it's, it's different and stronger than the other ones. So those, those are the difference because some people think they're exactly the same or they don't know when to take them or stuff like that. So I just wanted to kind of review that real quick and give you some tips on that. Okay, let's go back into this. Okay, so oh, we were down here. Let me go back. I don't know how I accidentally hit that. Do, 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 do. Okay, and move this up again. Okay. So, um, so yeah, we talked about those. Um, the other thing is to think about um, some bedtime hacks. Bedtime, how much sleep you get is going to determine how well your immune system is and things like that. Because when we sleep, our body repairs itself and it repairs the functioning of all of our immune system and things like that. So the brain can shut down, it can rewire, it can clear things that will not stress it and keep it from focusing, okay? So remember, sleep is gonna be really important. Um, with kids, a routine is gonna be good, like turn down, you know, iPads and TV and lights and things like that, you know, at a certain hour. Um, but some other helpful things is the Serenity bath bar, um, the lotion, you can make your own lotion, and you could put lavender or Serenity or frankincense, whatever which ones they like. The guys, like for teens, they like the frankincense. It, it's a smell that most guys and men will like. Um, you can diffuse it at night, stuff like that. But let them make their own choice with which oils that they like. And, um, yeah, and the little kids, you, the older kids can take the Serenity soft gel, um, or you can break it open and you can rub it or the oil itself along the spine before bedtime, and it'll just calm them and have them, help them have a good night's sleep. So here are some other oils that they can look and pick and choose to make sure that they get the full eight hours of sleep. Um, it's uh, Roman chamomile. It's really calming. Most people know from chamomile tea. But serenity, frankincense calms the brain, sandalwood is also calming. Breathe if they have any of that stuff going on. Remember, vetiver shuts down the running mind, those minds that just don't stop, you know. Lavender um, is calming as well. Balance for stress and for those kind of things, you just need to be, you know, balanced and let go. And cedar wood as well. So um, here's some little blends that I have as well. And they're actually different. So the first one is for just going to sleep, and that's Roman chamomile, lavender, or cedar wood. The next one is for those kids that are. Um, having trouble fighting sleep and um, just not really sleeping the whole night. So serenity, vetiver, and frankincense. And then for those kids that are stressed <laughs> and need some extra help, you would do cedarwood, lavender, and vetiver. So they're different for different reasons, but those are just some helps for sleep. Now the other thing is emotional support. So some people forget that um, you know emotions actually become physical things quite often. So when I was younger, <laughs> I did get tummy aches and stuff like that. And it really was more emotional than anything. Um, my parents were divorcing and stuff, but I wasn't really able to put that into words. I was just sad and like my tummy would get sick and stuff like that. So for little kids or for older kids with stress and peers and stuff like that, you really want to think about some oils for emotional support. So for self-esteem and acceptance, these two are really big for that. 
It helps them have some coping mechanism that they might not normally have on their own and let them be the best them that they can be. Um, cassia is also good for you, but you want to dilute it because it's one of those hot oils. It's like a cinnamon cousin, you know. But just think of those and keep those in mind for those kind of situations. Um, there's also the Roma Touch technique. Um, I teach it to different parents and stuff. Sometimes at the beginning of the year, we'll do just a class on it. Uh, there's a hand massage and then there's a back one as well. So we do it once a week. It helps with stress. It helps with muscle tension, emotional support. It kind of brings a whole body, not kind of, but it's meant to bring the whole body to homeostasis. So it's really good for a whole lot of things, but that's another thing. Um, then some other chilling and helping, you know, kids with stuff. So you can make these. The first one's just, you know, chilling out. So some of those kids that are just um, go, go, go and just need to relax, you can use those. Um, the happy kid is actually just when you have a grumpy child, you know, or one of those kids that have, they, the older kids might have that too, you know, <laughs> you want to cut it back. So, and, they, and maybe they're frustrated and they don't want to act that way. So you would use that. Um, the stay positive one is thinking about stress. So if like they have a project coming up or a speech or something like that, it's more along those lines. Um, and again, for emotional support, we diffuse cheer pretty often in our home. It's my kids' favorite. They each actually ask for their own bottle or their own roll-on. Um, they often put it in their necklaces. Like even the guys, they have that black metal necklace and they'll wear that. But um, you could also use Motivate. You know, Motivate is good for some kids just don't want to go out the door, so we'll diffuse it sometimes. <laughs> or, you know, maybe they have some kind of anxiety about going to school or facing something or getting homework done really good for that as well. Um, balance, elevation, those are really good for that. Frankincense, we do it every day, either a drop under our tongue or on the bottom of our feet. It's great for cellular support, brain function, immunity, everything. So um, it's good for that as well. Peppermint um, wakes you up and gives you some more energy naturally. Um, so you can think of those different things um, as far as that going on too. Now, homework and stuff like that. Everybody ask about that. So make sure just to get this in there early. Here's the homework blend diffuser. Um, so you put frankincense, peppermint, rosemary, and wild orange, two drops of both. Um, I'll get into some research studies about wild orange and peppermint and rosemary, but that's really good for homework, for concentration and being able to focus and get things done and staying on target. Nerve Buster Blend, again, another one. Um, I come into that quite often when I counsel kids or, you know, parents talk to me about stuff. Um, so Balance, because it's great for stress. Bergamot is very uplifting. Wild Orange also kind of gives them some courage. So that's for nerves. Um, and then the Morning Pep Blend, so to get you going and get you in a good mood. Elevation, Lemon, and Wild Orange again. So for mental clarity and focus, because that is the other big topic that everybody asks about. So these are the two oils that I would say are the really strong ones, balance and in tune. So we also used balance with lavender to go to sleep. So balance is just a great thing to have. Um, we use balance every morning because you don't know which stress you're going to come up against throughout the day. So sometimes we'll just put it on the back of our neck, just like where your brainstem is and stuff like that. But you could put it on the bottom of your big toe. It's also the response part for your, the reflex point for your brain. But um, yeah, so improving test scores, there have been a lot of studies that show that diffusing wild orange and peppermint while taking a test or applying it behind your neck, um, it has boosted some test scores. So it actually, and there's another blend where they did wild orange, peppermint, and rosemary. And they saw with the wild orange and peppermint, it went up 85%. And then when they added rosemary, it went up to 91%. It, it increased that much. So those are some really great things for the mind. Um, especially, um, a tip is you can diffuse these when they're doing homework and studying, right? And then when they do it, and they smell it or they diffuse it, you know, because some, some teachers aren't going to have it to diffuse. But 
if they carry it with them and they smell it before a test, it helps to recall and bring those things to the forefront of the mind to take the test. So good things for that. Um, so yeah, citrus oils are really good for the brain as well. So you like there's citrus bliss, there's wild orange, bergamot, lime, lemon. Those are all great. Spearmint is another form of the peppermint. So some people don't like the strongness of the peppermint. They can use spearmint as well, and it will act just the same way. Um, and then, like I said, motivate. So, but the in tune and the balance we use quite often for people that really want help with focusing. They can just roll it across the top of their forehead, put it on the bottom of their big toe or on the back of their brainstem, even on the temples right here. Sometimes we'll just do a dot of each and it really works. So um, here's some more about the Intune because it's so good. Um, so you can use it with the Brainy Blend and it helps, you know, for those struggling. Um, it's also good for meditation, but the oils that are in it are, if you research them, they're really good for brain and thinking and memory call, even for older people facing those issues as well. So sandalwood is really good, Roman chamomile, frankincense, and another thing about frankincense, not only is it good for brain function, but frankincense heightens the properties of any other oil. So if sandalwood is really good for your brain, frankincense added to it is going to heighten it even more. It makes it stronger. So uh, lime and ylang ylang um, are amorous and patchouli, really good for those. So these together help um, calm emotions, reduce stress, anxiety, helps with mental fatigue, and then enhances the memory and the focus for energy and aids in concentration. So, and I already told you where you can put them. But um, yeah, the other at the bottom, um, Manuka is the one that's a special for this month. So that is one of the ones that also helps with the brain. Basil, I haven't mentioned. Uh, Rose, Melissa, Clary Sage, the rest of them I've already talked about. But those are all good brainy oils. So if you have some at home and they're not fond of some of them, but they want to diffuse, you can look at these others and let them choose. Often I say let them choose because um, they'll crave and they'll like to smell whatever is working for their body the best. And not everybody's body is the same. Just think of medication, right? So for blood pressure or for ADD or just about anything, um, one medication works good for one person. Another, that same medication won't work as well for another person. So the same thing with the oils. Let them kind of choose and figure out what works great for them. But overall, the Intune is great for most everyone. Um, and then the Brain Blend. So this is the Brain Blend. And um, my son that's in college asked to come over the other day and make his own blend. So here's an extra one that we kept, but he has his that he took with him. So it's 10 drops of cilantro. And cilantro also um, detoxes the brain, such from heavy metals. Um, everybody has metals from immunizations that have been immunized. They last in the body for 40 years. So it kind of slows down the gut and the brain functioning. So it also helps with anxious feelings. Copaiba. Now, if you hear about CBD oil and all that other stuff, this is in a cannabinoid family. However, it doesn't mess with your CB1, which is like where you would get high or anything like that. It does not do that. It just helps with the rest of the brain function. It helps with cardiovascular immune, the central nervous system, and a lot of things. But 10 drops of that, and then seven drops of rosemary. So that's why I was talking about rosemary earlier. Helps with the mental fatigue, and it also detoxifies you, but it helps with learning difficulties. So people that have, um, you know, a range on the spectrum or some different perspectives where they learn a certain way, um, things like that, it'll give them mental clarity and enlightenment and kind of help with those issues. So the rest, after you put these drops in, into a 10 milliliter bottle, you'll just fill the rest with coconut oil, right up to where the little, once it starts to, where it starts to go in, you don't fill it past that part. So that's, how, and I'm not really sure how much it is, but you can just see, and it always works that way. So um, yeah, you just rub it again on the bottom of their big toes twice a day, morning and night. Um, they can use it in the afternoon if they feel like, you know, I need it at homework time, they can do that as well. But the toes are the reflex points for your brain. 
So I'm not gonna go over this whole um, thing right here. I can send you this little rise and shine and the little bit of, you know, ideas for um, blends that you can use at that time, but I've kind of already touched on them, so that's why I'm not gonna go into it. This is where we go to teachers, <laughs> um, but it also is good for parents to know as well. So, um, and I got this from a lot of research and teachers that have gone on to help kids and stuff like that. They just decide to put this together and hand it to other teachers who are wanting support and stuff like that. So, like I said, wild orange and peppermint are for alertless. It wakes them up and it helps them to concentrate, especially after the bad dip and lunch where they get tired. Um, on guard and lemon, very good for boosting the immunity. It's an antiviral, antibacterial. It's good for cleaning. Um, we do have the on guard hand sanitizer, so it's non-toxic and it softens the skin, but it's you know going to be cleaning those hands. Um, the in tune and the balance, like I talked about before, great for focusing. Uh, lemon and digestion, so you can drink it in the morning, or you can put a drop underneath your tongue and just drink a lot of water, and it'll rush it down. You won't feel any of the, I mean, you won't have an aftertaste. Um, if not, they could put it in a veggie cap, or there's the pill form of the digestion as well. But that's to keep up with that having that digestion on a good path and um, healthy. Then for some others with <laughs> pain in the neck. So tension for teachers is just like pain from athletes, okay? So a drop or two of deep blue and the aroma touch oil and you would put it, you know, wherever it's hurting or the stress that's in your neck and shoulders, right? And then serenity. So, um, yeah, you could take it 30 minutes before bed, the capsule, you can diffuse it while you're going to sleep, and so all night you're getting the benefits of that. And then you could add any of these oils for sanity and keeping your peace and your mind. Balance, elevation, citrus bliss, and serenity, they all are great for that kind of a thing. Um, this is just some tips from those teachers that have done studies of how to make the classroom a better environment to learn in. So um, Melaleuca, just keep it for when there's cuts, scratch, paper cuts, any of that kind of stuff. It kills all the germs and in a healthy way. It doesn't kill the ones that we need the, you know, to heal. Um, past tense, because that's with tension and tension headaches or anything like that. Be in tune to help any of those te teachers have this issue as well. Many of them ask me. And kids can be a distraction to them sometimes. So it's good for that. And they can also pop off the top and, um, you know, diffuse it as well. And it's good for just giving them the clarity during those times where they're foggy or squirrel, you know, jumping around with the kids. Um, hand sanitizer. Now there is the on guard one before there wasn't, and this is what they did. And then um, just says that you can recycle all the bottles. You can put paper clips in them. You can put all these different things in them and stuff like that. But that is all of that. Um, I do have like a bit of, you know, things I can share or email for teachers that want to have the handout, um, or want to share that they're diffusing in their classroom, um, how you can just pass it out to, or send it home with the students and let them know that this is what you're doing and why. And, um, I have things like that, that I can post or share, or it's preferred to email so that it comes out clear and you have your own copy. But just comment if you'd want any of those things and, um, or if you want some of the studies or testimonials or things like that, then I can get you copies of that as well. But um, that's, that's everything. <laughs> so I hope that it was informative. I hope that you could see where everything does affect the brain and things like that and some tips of sleep and concentration and all that that goes on during the school year. So that's all for now. Thanks.